Okay then. So, I get that some people might have had a disappointing study today. Uh, so we're here to bounce back, right? I'm gonna go try help those of you out there who might have not had a good study. Let's see if we can all get a bit back on track and in general just improve all of our team pickings and maybe you can climb up your uh, your own mini league scoreboard. So this was my team for today. Uh, if you missed the preview for Sladi, and I went through all of the riders there and a lot of my picks, I talked about Gogol, Genietz, Simon Carr, um, I talked about Van der Poel and Alaphilippe and Pogacar. I talked about all those guys, so a lot of the things that I said were very true. And, you know, I don't, I don't talk a load of rubbish. I'm just trying to help you guys out. So, this is my team. I got first, second, and sixth place. Quinn Simmons would have finished probably top 15, but again, he crashed out. Molma finished 25th, and Voss didn't really do much, so probably should have put on Car or Genietz instead. But you know, you live and learn. Uh, the next race is the Trofeo Liguana something or other. I mean, that's very uncultured of me, but that's the next race. What you need to know about it is that there is the first half is flat, and then we go into a circuit that we do four times. Each time through the circuit, there is a climb. It's relatively big, which means that this is more of a race for climbers. It's not overly steep, probably kind of 5% for uh, probably about 5k. So it's not overly hard, but definitely it's more of a climber kind of race. So let's go through who is available for this race. I've given it a bit of a look already, and by the looks of things, you're going to be struggling to get up to 100 points uh, with... Well, you, you can get up to 100 points, but I feel that the riders who you should be picking might not be. Uh, getting you up to 100, so I'm not picking Valverde. Yates, maybe. He didn't look brilliant today, and because this is the day after, he's probably, you know, not doing much, I don't think, but, you know, he could. I could be wrong. Mahorich is kind of a similar situation, although he has won this race in the past. Nibli I won't go with, but I would go with Ciccone. He has bounced back really well from any kind of COVID symptoms that he's had. And I think he's just looking really strong. We saw that in Provence and some of the one-day races he's done recently. Mollema, I will keep on my team because he came 21st today and he's had good form. I reckon just maybe a bit of bad luck today and bad positioning meant that he missed a move. I'll stick with him. I'm going to go with Bagioli because he's won a one-day race recently. And the other De Koenig rider who I'm going to go with is a little bit further down. Uh, Maui van Zevenant. He came third behind Mollema and Bernal the other day. And of course, both of them are looking really good. So we've got two Truck and two De Koenig because overall those look like the strongest teams here. So next, who do you pick to fill out your team? You could go Nibli, but I don't think he's looked fantastic. Quintana, possibly, but Lander finished sixth place. The other day in the race which Molomar won. So I will go with Lander. And the last place. Tricky. Tricky to say. I wouldn't touch Hodge. Don't do that. Bataglin is surprisingly good at climbing. Visconti. You could go Brambia. Because he won the. What was it called? Like something. The VAR three day race. He won the GC overall there. Trek come here with a really strong team, which means that even if he doesn't win, um, but they win as a team, he'll get assist points for that. And I feel that because there's not a lot of big teams coming here, it's generally just going to be a world tour rider who's getting the win. So I reckon at the moment I'll put in Bram Beer. But of course, as you can see, that means my team's credit is 94. But I wouldn't worry too much about getting up to 100 and feeling like you have to because we saw last year that actually um, like the best Giro team wasn't 100 credits. So sometimes you don't have to. You just have to get away from that OCD element that you may have ingrained in yourself to feel that you have to and just let go of it. James Knox could be a decent pick if you need an 8-pointer. 
Uh, six pointers. It's hard to say. Shanetsky for Gazprom would be a decent shout. Uh, Colioni for Bike Exchange. Stefan de Bod. Who else have we got? Fabro. God, there's not many riders. This uh, Biniam Gamay is a sprinter, but he can climb reasonably well. And I think that he could be somebody to put on your team if you need a six-pointer, but you might be struggling to reach the cap here. So, you know, you don't have to go then. But if you need a six-pointer, I'd be recommending him, probably. I'm really flying down the list now because I am just not seeing names which are standing out to me. Peter Seri, possibly, just because Quick Step and Trek look like the strongest teams here. So maybe back up with some of those for assist points. Juan Ayuso is the, he's going to UAE, he's super strong junior, but again it's, ah, he's just not going to be beating World Tour riders in my opinion, so that's just a really, that's a risky one, could really pay off for you, like he could just finish fifth place and then all of a sudden we all look stupid, but I'm going to put it in there now just in case he does really well, Juan Ayuso, and then Gosh, maybe you're just banking on the breakaway at this point. I'm not sure who to pick because I don't really need four pointers. So Antonio Nibli, if you're thinking of assist points that way. I think I've got what I think to be a really strong team. Rivi came 18th in Stardy today, so he's got a bit of form. But I think what I'm going to go with is... I'm just going to stick with this. Just the main big riders. So... We've got the big riders for the Trek, in case they try and light it up with multiple attacks. We've got the kind of two main riders for the Koenig, and we've got a uh, up-and-coming, kind of in-gaining form, Lander. So I think I'm going to go with those six, just because I don't need any of the low pointers. Uh, I'm just going to stick with this. I think that's about it. Um, yeah, that's all. We'll be back with a Terreno Adriatico preview in a couple of days, more than likely, just because the start list hasn't fully come out yet. And so if you want a Terreno Adriatico team, come back, get some tips, because I am a, I'm, I'm loving this new Valor Games content, and I am the place who... I'm the place you need to come to if you need a Vela Games team. Um, message us on Instagram and Twitter at Aldo Cycling. I'll be more than happy to uh, try and give some advice on teams. Send us the team that you have, and if you then say, "How do I improve this?" Uh, I'll try and let you know. But I can't guarantee that it'll improve because sometimes I make picks and and they don't work. But a lot of the time. I'm making okay picks, which sounds really big-headed, but it's just the way it is. I'm just, I'm an expert at this. Anyway, that's all that's, that's all that's going on. It's not a very complicated race. Pick all the big riders. Um, It's not like today where there's, you're struggling to hit, stay underneath the cap. Actually, today, you're struggling to hit the cap. So, that's everything. Keep your masks on, stay safe, and uh, come back next time for Terreno Adriatico. Salut!